Alright, what is up you guys? I am here continuing the Wrestlemania reviews with Wrestlemania 24. One that I've been waiting to do. Fantastic Wrestlemania. And, you know, with this one, I actually have on Blu-ray, DVD, and I have the tin. So, three times over. But yeah, the first ever Blu-ray as well. So, there you go. Presentation-wise, I cannot praise this enough. Such a beautiful stadium, Citrus Bowl. Probably the one of the best stages they've ever done. You know, great pyro. The umbrella even looked great. And just fantastic. Great job. And, like, even, like, put palm trees around. You know, even, like, on the... I think Chris Jericho talked about how shitty the Citrus Bowl was. And they just came in and just remodeled everything. They put palm trees. They put signs. Made it look beautiful. But the Hall of Fame this year, we had the Briscoes. Eddie Graham. Peter Maivia. Rocky Johnson, Mae Young, Gordon Soley, and Ric Flair. Of course, your headliner there. So, you know, beforehand we had the 24-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for the ECW title later in the night, which Kane won. It's your average battle royal. You know, he last eliminated Mark Henry. But, you know, it's just so cool because it was in the daylight. And this was the first outdoor stadium show for WrestleMania. You know, WrestleMania 9, that's not a stadium. 19 was a baseball stadium, but the roof was closed. So this was, like, big at the time. So, yeah, good battle royal to start off the show. And then we had Finley versus JBL in a Belfast brawl as your opener. I like this match. You know, it's, it's hard-hitting. It's very, I guess you want to call it, it's very stiff. You know, it's a very good match. And, you know, it was it was a good little way to end this little feud. And, you know, it's a good way to get you pumped up. And it's really nothing more than that. But, you know, it's not bad at all. It's very enjoyable. It's only a few minutes. Good stuff. And then we have the Money in the Bank ladder match. Chris Jericho, Shelton Benjamin, John Morrison, Carlito, CM Punk, MVP, and Mr. Kennedy. This match was originally supposed to feature an eighth member who was actually going to win the thing, was Jeff Hardy. So that's unfortunate. You know, he got suspended. I think this one was 60 days, right? I think. 90? 60? Because I know he came back right before One Night Stand. Hmm. I don't know. But, yeah. This is, to me... Yeah, I would say this is the best WrestleMania Mining the Bank ladder match. I actually do believe that. This was great. So, you know, you had CM Punk winning. Very well deserving. Obviously, I'm a CM Punk fan. But, you know, it kind of sucked watching it because I'm like, yeah, I know Chris, Jer Chris Jericho. I know Jeff Hardy's supposed to win this. And it was cool to see Jericho at WrestleMania again. And then we have the Battle for Brand Supremacy, Batista versus Umaga. Once again... You know, this match really didn't add much to the card. You know, it's just kind of there. But it's good stuff, you know. It's not like it's filler or anything. You know, it it's it holds its ground. But, you know, it's not really a match anyone really asked for. I'm a huge Umaga fan. And I'm a Batista fan, too. Shout out to Wrestling Rampage. And I'm also a Hardys fan, so there you go, too. So, yeah, this was your average match. And then we had the ECW Championship match, Chava Guerrero versus Kane. Nine seconds later, Kane is the ECW Champion. There you go. He came out from behind, choke slam, one, two, three, done. Just kind of worthless, really. And that's the only time the ECW title was ever defended at WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That's sad. All right, and then we had the career-threatening match, Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels. Obviously very predictable. One of the most predictable matches in the history of wrestling. But that was kind of the beauty of it. Going in, you knew this was it. And there was no better person to end it than Shawn Michaels. You know, it's not the most technical match. It's not even the most... It's not a five-star classic. 
but it tells a story, and that's just as important. You know, I'll never forget the I love you at the end, and then he kicks him in the chin and then pins him. So, it's very romantic. But, yeah. And, you know, there wasn't a dry eye in the stadium. You know, even watching this back now, it's a powerful moment. You know, even that little breaking kayfabe, I love you, who cares? It was great. It needed to be there. You know, usually I'm against breaking kayfabe like that, but it just made the match that much more special. So that was great. Oh, God. Then we had the Playboy Bunny Mania Lumberjack match. Maria and Ashley versus Beth, Phoenix, and Melina. God. The power went out during this match. What's that tell you? I think I was more entertained when the power was out. And I'm a fan of Maria and Ashley, believe it or not. Yeah, obviously you had Snoop Dogg come out. Yeah, I gotta have your celebrity. And, yeah, this was just worthless. And they had to use a spotlight for the next, like, I don't know, like a half hour maybe. So, yeah. Next up, we have the triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Randy Orton, John Cena, and Triple H. I loved John Cena's entrance for this. I thought it was fantastic. And, uh... I like this match a lot. I think it could have went maybe a few more minutes, but it did what it needed to do. This was a great match. I loved the build-up going into this, too. You know, I was a somewhat of a John Cena fan at this time. I was still kind of there. It's when he buried Nexus. That's when I officially just, like, got really pissed off. So at this point, I was still excited to see John Cena come back. Um, I really didn't expect Randy Orton to retain. I expected Triple H to win. But, yeah. I remember they did a poll at WrestleMania where you could text in back when that was a thing. And I think 8% of the people thought Randy was going to retain. So that was a cool little surprise. You know, he got the punt to the head. And then he um, got the win. I think he pinned Cena, which was kind of surprising. So, yeah, good match. I like it. And then we have the biggest versus the best. Big Show versus Floyd Money Mayweather. Like I said before, my biggest pet peeve in all of wrestling is when celebrities get too involved. This is an example of when it bothers me, but at the same time, it worked. This was a good match. And I was, I couldn't believe it. You know, going in, I'm like, this is going to suck. Fuck this. But no, this was really good. Um, they both did a really good job. Mayweather did a good job. You know, all those managers, you know, they're like screaming at Big Show. It was great. They're screaming at the ref, trying to get him to stop. Uh, it was entertaining. If anything, this match was just entertaining. So, can't go wrong there. It's not like it shit on wrestling. It didn't break kayfabe like crazy. It was a good match, and, you know, I love the brass knuckle finish, because I am not a Big Show fan, so... Felt good seeing that. And then we have Kim Kardashian, who was the official host, announces the WrestleMania 24 attendance. That's a very important moment right there. And then we have the main event. They got this right. That is the true main event. The World Heavyweight Championship. The Edge. The Edge. Oh my God. What is this? You two? Edge versus The Undertaker. I meant to say Undertaker first, and then I said The Edge. That made no sense. Edge versus The Undertaker. This is a great main event. This is, to me, an example of what a WrestleMania main event should be. Fantastic rivalry going in. Great build-up. You know, you had Vicky Guerrero, who was just a phenomenal heel at the time. I think you had Teddy Long, like, pulling her, or pushing her out. You know, this was a great match. You had just very good technical wrestling and storytelling. You had some high spots, you had some near falls, and you just wanted The Undertaker to win. But at the same time, you're like, this was one of those cases where you didn't quite know if the streak could end. You know, Edge is a really good choice to end the streak, in my opinion, so you never knew. You know, how do you elevate Edge as a heel even more than he already was? Have him end the streak. 
but, you know, they went with the right choice for the main event, so for that, I give them huge credit. Just, overall, I love this match. To me, this is match of the night, and a great way to finish off WrestleMania 24, unless you're the fans that got burnt by the pyro. So, overall letter grade for this, I'm going to give this a very generous B+. You didn't have much filler. You know, there was a lot of entertainment throughout, good pacing. So, in presentation, they can't top that. Yeah, you know, WrestleMania 33, I think that's the closest to having a great stage as WrestleMania 24. So, I just, I have very fond memories with this WrestleMania. And this is me being unbiased here. B+. Plus, let me know your opinions down below. This has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.